So in recent years, we are seeing um, jurisdictions turning towards mandates in some shape or form. Um, obviously, um, you, you could say perhaps that the trend started with California removing all exemptions except uh, medical exemptions in 2015. Um, Australia making it stricter in order to receive um, benefits from the government in the form of uh, family payments and childcare assistance. Um, also, you know, removing people's ability to uh, refuse vaccination and still obtain those benefits. And now this year we've seen Italy and France announce that um, they are increasing the number of um, vaccines that will be mandatory because some of them already were, but they're also more importantly going to be enforcing um, those mandates and, and having consequences for non-compliance. So they're kind of using a crisis discourse. They're suggesting that, um, you know, that, that, that under vaccination is going to promote outbreaks of disease and in some cases, you know, linking to specific outbreaks of disease that have been occurring. Um, but it's clear from, from the kind of language that they're using that they are suggesting that the problem is uh, vaccine refusal and that that's, that's why we're seeing under vaccination as opposed to it being, uh, as opposed to under vaccination being a product of other things like access barriers, people not being able to get the vaccines. They're framing it very much that this is a response to people not accepting or wanting the vaccines. And so the mandates are about making it harder or making consequences for people who hold that position and, and stick to that course of action. Well, that's, a, that's an interesting question. I mean, um, I guess uptake, you know, like crude uptake figures w will tell us something. But, um, and certainly in Australia, we, we've seen a, a small but significant increase in uptake since our more draconian measures were introduced. But of course, um, so the government will, will claim that this policy um, is the cause of that. Um, but other experts will contest that and say that there are other factors that have also contributed, including, you know, reporting of data and catch up programs and other things that have um, been introduced around the same time that um, could instead explain the increasing rates.